Hi friends, in a previous video, we built a chartbot which enable us to chart with our private documents. Today, we will deploy the application on Google Cloud so that anyone can access our application, upload their private files and chart with those documents. Okay. So this is how the application looks like. First, it asks us to upload the document. So here I, I have uploaded a text file. Uh, in the background, it has built a rack system because this file is so small, it built the system very quickly. And now we can start asking the questions. So this is a speech given by the president of USA. And we have asked, hey, give me a quote which encapsulate the main message. And it came back with an answer. Okay. So now let's see how do we deploy this application on Google Cloud Run. So this is our application code in a single file. We are mainly using Langchain and Chainlit for building this application. In the previous video, we went through this code in very detail. I'll provide the link in the description below. Now. To deploy any applications to Google Cloud Run, we need to build a Docker image and containerize our application. It's a very simple file. Here, we are taking Python 3.9 as the base image. And we are creating a folder called app. We copy the content of this folder to app, but we require only two files. One is our application code and the second one is this requirements file which contain uh, the libraries. Okay. And then we install the libraries using pip. We expose the port 880. So through this port, the Docker can listen to our requests. And finally, the command which runs whenever we start the container. Okay, so it's python chainlit run app.py and again we expose, we run the application uh, at this port so that it can uh, receive the requests uh, from this port. Okay, now one very very important thing is uh, this command. So there are two steps, right? One, building the Docker image and the second one is running the image or container. The underlying infrastructure for doing these two tasks should either match or when we build the Docker image, we make sure that it is compatible with the architecture where we are going to eventually run it. So we have two options. One option is, so I have my local machine Mac, but most of the cloud, the underlying operating system is Linux, right? So when I build the Docker image on my local machine. I specify this option so that the image is compatible to run on Linux machines, which is the cloud, most of the cloud machines, right? Or the second and better approach would be we use the same infrastructure to build the image and then run the image. So in addition to cloud run, Google offer cloud build where we can build the images because the underlying infrastructure for cloud build and cloud run is the same. We don't have to worry about this compatibility thing. Okay. We are going to use second approach, which is we use cloud build to build the image. But first let's test 
our application locally. Uh, so I'm just using uh, Python 3.9 Slim. Okay, so this is very uh, important uh, consideration. All right, so here I have all the commands. So let's build the image first. Close it. So first, it downloaded the base image, created this working directory, copy our code to app, and now installing the required libraries. This will take a couple of seconds. Once it has done it, then we run the image locally and we pair the port 880 from Docker to our local machine 880 so that we can send the requests or we can uh, communicate with the uh, uh, the container. Okay. Now, my local port 880 is already busy because I just ran the application. So first, let me free that. All right. So the image is already built. Now, let me show the images I have. Yeah. So chain lit app, this is the image we just built. Now free the port 880. All right, now I will run the container. Okay, I just need to start uh, this daemon. Okay, that should work now. Okay, so we go to port 880. I notice that this application is now running on uh, the Docker. All right, so I'll just refresh. Let's copy. Okay, upload a file. All right, it's done. And now we can ask, what is this document? What is this? What is this document? All right, it's working. This document appears to be an expert from state of the union address, which is correct. Okay, all good. So the application is working fine on our local machine. But we want to deploy this application on Google Cloud Run. Right, so for that, we need to build this YAML file, which is this cloud build YAML. Basically, it contains three steps. In step number one, we use cloud build to build the Docker image. And in step number two, we push the image to the artifact registry. And finally, in step number three, we deploy the application, which is we run the container from cloud run. Okay, so that's the cloud build YAML file. So first step, we are using uh, this compute to build our Docker image. And we are calling it my LLM app. Okay, and next we are pushing the image from cloud build to Google artifact registry. Okay. And finally, we use cloud run to run our application. So run, we are deploying, we are calling the application my LLM app. And this is our Docker image. Again, port 8080. And we allow unauthenticated. This is for testing purpose. Uh, but in a production environment, we will allow only specific ports from specific uh, IP addresses so that uh, only those who are authenticated can access uh, the application. Uh, these, you can leave them as defaults. Okay. So we build the cloud build. And then going back to commands. All we need to do is just run this uh, G Cloud build submit 
CLI command. But before that, we need to authenticate. Uh, I have authenticated some time back. So this command should work. Otherwise, I will re-authenticate. But uh, you can set your credentials uh, using these three commands. So you, you simply say gcloud auth login. That will open the web browser uh, where you can provide your uh, Gmail or your Google account credentials. And then you can set your config, uh, the project, the region, uh, etc. So I'll take this. Now let me close this. I'll run this. Okay, uh, this sh should be working fine. So now we can go to cloud build to see what is happening there. So this is the request we just submitted. So as you can see, it is still running. So which has these three steps, right? Uh, which are specified in the cloud build file. So the first one is building the image. Second one, pushing the image to artifact registry and finally deploying the container to the cloud run. So that will take a couple of minutes. I have already deployed the app. Once it is deployed, you will see a new entry in the cloud run. So this is what we will see. Okay. And go there. So it will automatically provide you with a URL. Okay. So it's my LLM app and uh, <coughs> all right. So I just, this is the same URL or I can open from here. All right. So let's see if it's working. Upload the file. Cool. It's working fine. And now I can share this URL with anyone who can upload the document and start chatting with their documents. Okay. Uh, that's all for this video. Thank you very much.